Hello family, welcome back. This is Empowerment Network and today I am hosting the mighty Otech Pro and as you can see with us in the house, a very, very special guest of honor, none else but our own Michael Aku. Hi Michael, welcome. Hi, it's a comfort. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Collins. Hello. Thank you. You're just greeting to all my brothers in the house and those who are watching. Yeah, it's a good Saturday. <laughs> good Saturday, Uncle Bob. Is it a good Saturday for you being here in the morning? <laughs> wonderful Saturday. Wonderful Saturday. Greetings from Bel Air. This is your brother, Bob. Ex exciting times in Unpassive, and I'm glad to be part of the journey. Exciting times indeed. Hello, uh, brother Oliver. Welcome. Hi, everybody. Uh, we are on fire, and the fire is burning. You know, we, are, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, and I want to say kudos to all of us. Yes. And we are fine. Yeah, sure. Kudos indeed, bro. Thank you. Hello, brother Vincent. Hi. Hello, 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 my brother and sister all over the world. From here, UK. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I hope you will enjoy a bit with us today. Thank you. Indeed. Hopefully, we should have a, a beautiful uh, Saturday afternoon and morning here, depending where uh, you are calling in from, guys. Let's try to share this because our brothers are on fire and we need to discuss this because this is business indeed. So as you saw the topic, uh, it says on passive is going to be a life support for all, if not uh, for many, if not all businesses. This is big, guys. So I'm quite, quite excited. Brother Bob, can you open this discussion for us, please? Certainly, certainly. Good morning again here in Bel Air, It's good to see you, my brothers, uh, Vincent, Oliver, Collins, and of course, uh, our esteemed brother, Michael. Uh, it's good to see you. Thanks for joining us, uh, you are our guest for today. Um, <clears throat> like I said, Sister comfort uh thank you thank you as always uh you are you know you are you are able to bring out the best of all of us and you give uh your selfless in your in, in everything that you've done for us and your community so it's it's a pleasure being here uh like you said our topic for today is um all passive as a life support to businesses that is a profound statement and i think it is a true statement you know, Mr. Ash himself, he told us yesterday, I think it was yesterday, he said in 2018, he said Unpassive was going to help businesses and individuals to get on stock. You know, but for me, it doesn't end there. I, I, I got that clue a, a while a while ago, you know, when I when when I think it was two years ago when the, uh, the when we op opened the office in Hyderabad. You remember, he released that that office as soon as it was op opened. There was a short video of eight minutes video. In that video, I think Mr. Ar Mr. Ash Mufara actually lays out exactly his intention on helping everyone on stock. Remember, he says, the video starts with a narrator talking about speaking, but you can tell that as Ash Mufara, those are his words. He says, equal opportunity for all, building the, build, uh, bridging the gap between big and small, that every business needs, needs artificial intelligence and we're going to build tomorrow's technology today. So he's looking at it from helping everyone, all businesses. It doesn't mean whether you're big or whether you're small. And Mr. Ash Mufara has actually been doing that already, uh, Sister Comfort. You know, if if you go to onpassive.com website right now, you go to the blog. Do you know a smart businessman can go in there, look at various strategies? It's, it's, it's public. You have digital marketing strategies. You have strategies on how to make yourself available, uh, visibility on, on social media, and various strategies for businesses to use. So Ash Mufara is already giving that to the public even before we we, 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 we come live, you know. And Brother Max Degamo asked that question yes, uh, yesterday, or uh, uh, yesterday, yes, to Mr. Ash two days ago. And Ash, it looks like he, he was waiting for that question. The way he responded to the question, you could tell that that's something that's in his mind. He, he comes out with these seven points, seven advantages of how the, the customers of Unpassive are, are going to be, are going to uh, uh, use Unpassive products to help them, to get them on stock and to support them, to be a life support for them. And he gives us the seven points, which I know my brothers here, we all are going to maybe 
pound on where, where we take our tents. He tells right. us that customers are they're going to save money, they're going to save time, they're going to help their customers, it's going to help them because they're going to be customers. It will minimize pressure on these companies, it will be scalable and will help them to be sustainable. So mm -hmm. I'm sure we're going to get along and uh, expand more on that. But there's, there's a lot more that we can expand on, on this thing. So I'll wow. give it back to you. It was such a powerful introduction that I think it's yeah. good enough for us to say the show is ended. Somebody would definitely take something <laughs> home, bro. I really appreciate that. And I, yes. I get you when you say, when they say something before you finish, Ash is like, you know, when you speak Ash's mind, he he, he leaps, you move him off, he, off his seat. I think we know that by now. It's such yes. a powerful topic, guys. And I'm just excited to hear what you all have to say. So, uh, Collins, go on. Yes, thank you, Bob. Yeah, you just, you know, <laughs> explained everything. So, you know, the topic is really massive. If we look at that topic, you know, um, a life support. On passive is a life support for businesses. And that is really true because if you look at the structure of on passive, the way on passive is being built, they said a single, a, a one-stop shop with a single sign-on. You know, so it's a single sign on one stop shop where you can come in and you can have everything for affordable price, high quality product. So I look at it and I said, okay, on passive is building a platform for business to strive. We understand now that business are really struggling when, especially when it comes to, to products and services. All right, let's look and let's go back to the to the agricultural age. You know, people started with agricultural, we moved to industrialization, and now we are talking about the digital age. Everything now is digitalized. So most company that are there, if you are not you are not using most of these applications, you will struggle because of you want quick turnover. Most now the world is moving so fast, the population is increasing. People want to do things as quick as possible, but again, for an affordable price. What is happening on passive? On passive is looking at on passive just look at like Oliver always said, Ms. Alpha look at the gaps in all applications. Mm -hmm. Why are business struggling? Why shouldn't we give it in a, a, you know for an affordable price where business can still be sustainable? Not like they are coming to kick business out, but they are making they want to make business more profitable. So what if we build something like this where business can just come in, use this application to improve their business, to improve whatever they are doing? We're talking about business to business application, enterprise version for 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 an affordable price. And Mr. Ashman already done. When he always said, we will own the internet, people always get confused of that particular statement. They think like owning the whole 7.5 billion. What if we own all the 7.5 billion? Good. 7.5 billion, good. But when he used that statement, we will own the internet. To me, the way I see it, if you own the data center, you have a domain and you have financial service, that's owning the internet. Because people will come in to use your processor, you mm -hmm. know, you say, all right, I want to do because every business, what they do, they need processor to, 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 to you are building a solution or you're doing, you need financial services to, to, to do transaction. Money must move in and out. You must pay in and pay out. As I said, I will provide it for you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have a website, you must have a domain. Where do you host it? Domain hostage. Mr. I said, I will give it to you. Now, you have large quantity of data, which our brother Vincent will talk about. What, where do you store it? Data center. Mr. I said, I will provide it. Those three things. You've already, you, you've already owned the internet because everybody coming in, they will come because they know these three things, you have it. You know, and then just talk about the multiple product from, from this, from financial service to commercial service to whatever, you know, to health service. That is it. Mr. Ashra is just coming, gradually giving that service. He's just providing it's, a, it's just like someone who is providing something to, to assist mankind. Mm. It, I'm not coming to take business, but I'm coming to assist you to grow. So I will leave it there, Sir Comfort. Yeah, indeed. You are talking and I'm just nodding because, you know, everything is just uh, uh, falling in place. Because Ash is that kind of person who is like every other thing, people have seen it. I'm bringing something different, that new thing that has been missing. And he's, he's actually got the X factor, right? So let's hear from our brother Vincent. Oh, thank you, uh, Sister Comfort. Thank you, uh, Brother Bob, for a good introduction. Thank you also, uh, Brother Collins, for this uh, 
well speaking. So today I'll talk also about, we are talking about on passive life support for business. So exactly on passive will be a life support for business because uh, like my brother Colin saying in today world, everything is a digital world because even the data, all the data, when we are talking right now, everything will go will be a, will be a data because save somewhere will be a data. Using our mobile phone daily life is a data. So all this is missing. What a company, what is business, what is missing? That's why on passive going to work on it, and then we will make it work for businesses to improve a business life cycle. So transforming the data going to improve the business life cycle because we need this is agent part of because the data become very day and day become more and more so a lot of company they don't know how to handle this data how to save this data in better place because the whole world right now where we are worried everywhere we are talking people worry about security because they are worried about the data the data is not secure that's why a lot of people are worried but on passive we know how to handle the data we know how to use it we know how to secure the data so this data we have it is in a good place because once it's not exposed to the other world we have our own data center where we can handle this data and then the data is protected is again secure in our own house because you don't give your money to someone house to save it it's not safe so the person can compromise maybe your business but on passive, we have it, nothing to worry about that. And secondly, we can also using uh, the customer information in a safe place. So we can help customers life changing and then changing their life also is also changing their income because on passive, doing that, a lot of companies can get benefits, profit of the, the, the data we put in the right place, the data we secure, the data we look after. So data is also meaning of money, not only security, but it's money. If we save it well, we deal it well, and then we put it in the right place for the customers to do their own business, I think we will be on passive where no business can compare to war. And then on passive going to change most businesses today. And then with the uh, help of uh, artificial intelligence system. So thank you, Sister Kofa Olivier there. Wow. I'm just nodding and nodding and nodding because it's tipping is going deep down. I want my brother Michael to come from another angle because within us in this family of ours, he is the somebody you would call like we respect him so much and love him. And he is that kind of that the humanitarian mogul in us because he's got that figure, he's got that so brother Michael. Would you think that this thing they're talking about, Unpassive is here to revive businesses, to rebirth businesses, to repair businesses. Do you think this would work in the, in term, in the, in the industry, if I'm using the right expression here, of humanitarian uh, movements? Because uh, uh, information shows that some are closing down their charitable shops and organizations are just shutting down because of lack of funds and stuff. You think that they, do they find a place within Unpassive as well? Apart from that, if you have some other thing in mind, you can just go from there. It's a free flow anyway, but I thought that you should go on that. Thank you, uh, Sister Comfort. Um, and uh, thank you, brothers, for the intro and all that. Um, well, as we uh, said, um, on passive is a life support for businesses. Uh, let's take it to the humanitarian aspect because that is where uh, our even the heart of our company, as far as... Um, Obless is concerned, so it's good we're talking about that. And uh, you can see that before you even think of any humanitarian stuff, you need to provide, you need to uh, keep it running, and you need to protect it. That is the three P's. Uh, provide, preserve, and then uh, protect. Uh, the first one is provide. That is, make it available. And some even wish they can start this humanitarian. But the provision is not there. So that vision is even dead before uh, it comes into implementation. But here comes a point on passive is going to provide. So that aspect is taken care of. Now we come to preservation. Sometimes you can start something, but uh, on a wrong note, whereby there are so many instances that uh, uh, maybe you want to do it to this scale, but you are seeing a vision, but to implement it, you are you you are you are limited because of your resources or because of uh the kind of uh things that you've put in place the infrastructure and all those stuff you know how to manage stuff 
So you can see that if even though you have provided, but you are not able to preserve it. But on passive is coming to give us the opportunity to preserve it, be it finances, tools, and any any resource that we need, that will be done. So when we say it's a life support, it's going to provide and preserve it. Now, the last point I will say is corruption. And that normally hurts most organizations. It's sometimes some even start on a wrong note because oh they want the maybe finances or resources and uh, they find dubious means because the means is not there so right from the beginning this the setup is already corrupt so you can be going and we tell you oh if you don't let's say they give you money for for a humanitarian stuff and because you start on a wrong note you can be twisted or some people will be behind to be twisted twisting your arms like yo this money that is coming 20% will come to me, 10% to you. If you don't do it that way, we're going to shut down your, your organization. Or maybe within themselves, they don't, they just use the, the, the face of the, of the organization to make money for themselves. So already, preservation or protection is gone. And these are most of the things that you see that people will send money, but the money will not land in the right place. Because what? The person who is even studying the thing himself, it, 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 it's, it's a... It's, a, it's in poverty. So he or she cannot look at this, let's say, $10,000. Okay, come on, I'm not going to send it to the people because I, I, I need it. But already, we as on passive years, we were already financially okay. So where are you taking it to? And we're going to start on a good note, whereby we don't need anybody to like twist our arms, like set the, our, our state on a wrong note. But we are already set. So you can see that we can protect whatever we do because we don't need anybody to like direct our affairs because we are already a team. We are set already. Everything we need is in place. So as far as humanitarian is concerned, on passive is going to be the life support. It's going to be something we will start from the beginning the right way and provide everything in a rightful manner. And then nobody can infiltrate. Everything is like a fortified castle. Whereby we already we don't need anybody to come in to twist our arm. We government or individual or anybody because we have what it takes to set it up. I think uh, that is what we will say on passive with the life support. That is it. It's going to be something called continuation. It's not going to stop because life means living, and we're going to do it even before we leave for the next generation. We have a culture that will pass it on. Listen, this and that will be even more because we are just seeing the beginning. Imagine ten years to come, how will on passive be? What will be the resources in there? The the, the tools, the, the 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 solutions online. You know, it's going to be massive, massive. So this will be something that it will be perpetual, continuation, mm. it's a living thing. That has an end. So when we say it's going to be life support, not just in IT, but it cuts across every aspect of life. Thank you very much. That's crazy, guys. Sometimes I feel that I can be a bit too daring. You know, you know what it means pulling these five men and put here and all of them get set you on fire from their unique perspectives this is just crazy mm -hmm. this is the beauty of on passive i like the i like mm -hmm. the bit where you describe it as a living and ongoing something that's just it so if you see a contribution from here from, from my sister uh Vavine, so her reference to village here i know that in the western world the notion of village is could be something else but the village she's talking about here i think a few of us have an idea so she says imagine a village being an a business and all his people affiliate affiliates are the um, employees but in fact they are not employees the village is self-sustainable and everyone is a winner there's just no limit guys and what is why i read this because it confirms what michael is saying because sometimes when we run short and this the village here are the people who are victims of this where we send ten thousand maybe to build by build a small classroom they go and buy pencils and books and then the rest disappears into thin air that is dead and gone now it's on passive new life brother oliver please yes uh thank you very much uh brother michael uh you, you just like put some fire in me uh bob for the also for the for the intro bob that was a good one callings then um, uh, my brother vincent that was a good one there yeah then when you say life support to many companies that is true it's going to be a life support to a lot of companies because if you look at what is going on now in companies 
the recession also that we are in now the laying off employees you know they can't even afford to buy some tools but now with on passive with our tools that is affordable you know when you come when a, when a company comes for you for all staff all staff that most company like most of us that we are here that we work we have about five applications just for human resource all staff is a, is a human resource application now every all that five will be in one old staff and that old staff now company will save money for that god they'll, they'll come to all to, 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 to on passive they'll get old staff that con that combines all the five applications they've already saved money there come again another application is there now most people work from home most companies their employees they work from home what the world what will they get secure tunnel end to end or virtual though though it's affordable they'll save money also on that come again O connect look at O connect what we what we do have now Ten thousand you ten thousand users for 375 dollars our uh, the the other company that we know i don't want to i don't want to call their name they they, they, they sell it for almost six thousand four hundred dollars they save money right there it's just these just four applications that i've just called they've already saved money come again most of the executive traveling that they are traveling from one country to the other or the executive now with all connect they'll sit in their office they have those meetings in there the the the, the, the first class flight that they will use to go to let's say from japan to germany or to the united states for first class ten thousand dollars for flight ticket or five thousand they save it hotels executive suite they save money from that so you see that on passive is going to come now productivity will increase efficiency will also be more they do, and then they'll make they'll make more money they will not fire staff they'll retain their employees and what do what do what, what would they also do they, they, they might give them maybe one percent raise so you see that on par with on passive a lot of companies which would maintain their employees and they'll give them raise come again single sign-on with single sign-on they'll save time and they'll also save money what i just said then locking in from one application to the other one one application to the other that time that they used to lock into this one they shut it down go to the other one sso -S 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 bam they sign in one time in on passive um uh, this thing application that's it they've saved time there come come again a lot of companies a lot of companies will make good money because of this recession when they buy products the affordable price Collins will know my brother Bobby will know we are all IT guys they will know what, 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 what it means they pay for subscription fee they pay for licenses no more licenses no more licenses that they will say licenses mean 50 and 50 employees will pay though they, they have a cost that the company pay so a company with 70,000 employees or oh, let's say even 2,000 employees, 1,000 employees, they'll take a product for 50, 50, 50. They have different, different prices. Let me take Udemy. Udemy, I've used Udemy with my former company. They say, okay, 50 people that will use Udemy, Udemy online course, online training, that is our Oak Academy. That's our Oak Academy. You know, that license is there. No, they will not have it anymore. The bottlenecks, they will not have it anymore. So you see how on passive now will increase you come to on passive also you have everything from data center you can buy your domain you can buy old traffic they bring you more more customer to your company sustainability um, um, financial stability the company is going to get it the efficiency is going to be there you know you come you have everything in on passive you are happy the company makes more money the company retain their employees the company again give raise to employees without sending them away so this is a these are the things that on passive is the life is going to is going to be the life support and it's already life support in some of the companies that have already started using it how any death my uh, sister comfort Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for joining. This is Empowerment Network, and today, Saturday, I'm hosting the All Tech Pro, and we had a guest of honor in how in the house today, which is uh our brother Michael Ako. So the topic, as you saw, says that on passive is a life support for businesses. So talking about affordable tools, as brother o Oliver just mentioned, uh, Collins, I'm thinking of where Uncle Bob started earlier on, but I want to throw it to you first before we go to brother Bob. Because uh, bro, Oliver is saying, talking about affordable tools, because something came to mind when he said this. I was like, 
some companies start and they don't grow they are just stuck there so i was wondering is there something that the bigger companies do afford and they grow and the other ones can't afford and they're just there and then now oliver is talking about affordable tools is that something you can throw some flesh to uh, Collins? then after which we'll hand it over to brother Bob again please yes the comfort that's really right because like all my brothers have said most companies especially medium small and medium-sized company they struggle because they cannot afford some of these tools for instance if you look at what is in the market we can name a lot of them how many of this company can afford for instance let me go for instance like hp product some companies use hp you know like for instance if you want to do like proper testing you go for hp quality center it's so expensive if you look at this 10 grand most companies cannot even afford it and then how many of them can even afford like like even microsoft team product microsoft team as as a whole they can so some of them they are shorting things and like yesterday in my company they were talking about shorting some of these web some of these uh, video conferencing platform because you have too many and it's costing the company a lot you know so we are talking about on passive because as as oliver said most company need one two three four like for instance old staff now we're coming with integrated O staff. This some of this company has about three or four to do a complete job from recruitment to payroll to everything. You need about four or five. They cannot afford it. You know, you're talking about security system, it's too expensive. Okay, we, some of them we call Google Analytics is how much? One year is 150,000 for Google Analytics. So, how many companies can afford all of this? Mm -hmm. They can. So, what will happen? They'll just be going down, and most of the, the client that will come. If you cannot deliver, they don't care about your tools. They want that if I come and said I want A, can you give it to me? No, I'll go to the next person. You know, and if you want to give it to me, what is the price you want to offer? Because some of these tools, because they are they are really expensive, so the price of the product will go up, especially in delivery, is because imagine the delivery process. You buy all of these tools, you want to make commission. The stakeholders too, they are asking for commission, asking for profit. Now they cannot make report what will happen. This company will collapse because they are not getting customers to come in. Mm -hmm. Now, on passive is coming with something as Oliver said, affordable, something that will even help the business to grow. So that money that they are spending for too many tools, applications, they can save it now to give better parents and to give even the quality as well because quality comes with all of these things. You, what what is the use of of developing a fridge and the fridge mm -hmm. cannot even cold, preserve food? It's of no use. What is the the, the use of say you 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 like a, a a cooker and the thing cannot even do anything you know it's not only about can this tool do what we are asking for that's what the customer want if you cannot give it to me an affordable price i will disappear and these tools are really expensive so mr ashmofa is coming now with that platform that can do not only one all integrated for a really cheap price i, I can say it's cheap because if i look at all connect it's giveaway O connect for the quality of O connect and like i said paradigm shift is not about taking it it's about miss Ashra have just flipped the price you know the world you know the world look for quality when you were going they said this bag designer bag we already know oh my i don't want to talk about it because it's too expensive your mindset is too expensive but now miss i said i will give you that same quality or above that quality for something cheaper so mr ash have just reversed everything the the more the quality the more affordable it is in on passive but in other business the more the quality the more expensive mr i said i'll flip it so company now can come in and strive because that with that excess money they'll have in their wallet what will happen my brother Oliver said they'll give better pay raise mm -hmm. and bonus but some people don't give bonus because they have spent a lot they lie to you and come they tell all the bonus but when you come they always tell you no we cannot give you they'll always find or still and it's until you'll be fed up and then you decide to quit your job that's what happened wow that's just that's just a, a breath of relief you know because um a sigh of relief or what you call it because I, I keep thinking but then now you see it so clear from these explanations you all are giving here as a panel you know because i'm just like everybody likes to experience growth but you start and you're just stuck there and i've got a bit emotional that some of these things that are worth billions of dollars ash actually gives them out for free this is just crazy guys so uh but bob i don't want to uh yes. influence Thing, but I know that your chest is full, so just download it, bro. Go for it now. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, yes. So my brothers have just uh, nailed it uh, appropriately, correctly. But I'll I'm just going to add, add on a little bit. Remember, um, 
affordability is the key it's what is inside mr Arthur Farah's mind he wants it to be affordable for all you know he says he's going to bridge the gap between the big and the small so let me let me just zoom in a little bit further to what my brother everybody have mentioned old stuff i also was thinking about old stuff let me give you a real life example of what happens in the real world right but the company i work for is about 25 billion dollar when it's a big company is rich they can afford all these products you know but what happens to the small guy you know look look look, look take a product like old stuff this is what happens it's a human resource management system yes there are about five applications every week right every week we all go to work at the end of the week you have to put in your time there's a system that that you put in your time for the system right that's one system that's a one application maybe at the end of that week you want to know how much you were you were paid how much you made at work there's a payroll system adp it's a big company you go into adp you, you print out you find out what or you need you need to take your paycheck to you apply for a loan or something you need proof you know that's another application okay you want you are you want to take a vacation you are sick or you're sick sick time or anything of that sort there's another application it's called work something like work day there are several of them you go into that application that's a different uh, system you want to do training like college said there's a training system you, uh, there's another one if your company is a serious company they have a a, 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 a recruitment uh, tool that they use to recruit so those are five different applications each of them have different licenses like oliver said depending on the number of people that are using it you are paying for those licenses so put all that in combined a small company will stress out you will burn out a small community to afford all these things but as Mufara has put this all inside one one application and all of these systems are modules you see so it makes it affordable for the small guy that's what he said he's going to bridge the gap and it's better everything that Ashu Farah is putting together is better than what we have in the market but i'm going to just leave it there one key to uh, uh to giving the, the, this life support for systems for, for for businesses you also have to be compliant you know the systems that you build has to comply with the with the rules and regulations that are out there I was very very impressed when I when I went in yesterday and made my 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 payment. I saw something and I and I was like, "Whoa!" I scream and I call Oliver. When you go in to make a payment, you see this. You see several at the at the gateway. You see Mastercard, Visa, and there's something else there. It's it's called PCI DSS. That is a huge deal when it comes to security and compliance. You know and digital trust. We are telling you are telling the, the people who are coming into this system that hey we are safe and we are secure pci dss there's something pci dss means payment card industry data security standard there's a council called the pci uh, ssc payment card industry security standard council the, there's they have an executive council is made up of mastercard visa american express discover card jcb and one other there are six members they came together and they formed uh, this uh, 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 they created a group of security controls about 12 for any merchant or any processor anybody who is taking or receiving credit card payments they have a certain number of security controls that you must comply with you understand so to see that thing there that means they have authenticated this merchant uh, or passive as trustworthy they, you actually have to have what they call a, a qualified security assessor who comes in reviews the security of that system and then give you what we call uh an aoc at an attestation of compliance so when you see that there trust me mr ashwafara has done exactly what he's supposed to do to give the customers the trust but there's also one thing in compliance that i want to bring to your attention sister i know you like to poke me about about compliance earlier this week yes on monday yes. on monday on the 30th the president of the United States, President Biden, signed an executive order. He signed an executive order on artificial intelligence for the safe, secure, trustworthy development of AI systems. Okay? It happened on Monday. And there are a lot of stipulations in there. But when I looked at it, the, 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 the document that I looked at, the first stipulation, I'm just going to talk about it just to tell you guys how powerful and how forward thinking ash mufara is our founder okay the first stipulation states that all um all a all, all large ai uh all companies that are building ai systems all of them they have to give the safety results 
to the U.S. government, right? And all critical information must be presented to the U.S. government. Guess what? If you have you've been here for at least three years, you will remember there was a time when Mr. Ash Mufara told us this story where he opened up. He has already complied with that. He opened up to the U.S. government. He showed they had access to our systems. Remember? They had access to us. So Ash Mufara has already given them that access. They are, yeah. I remember one time he said that they changed the password and they called him and asked him what happened. Him. <laughs> yes. So I want everybody to be very, very, very confident that our founder is doing everything the right way. He's making sure we are compliant locally, globally, all around the world. He is prepared. He's steady. He's focused. And he has a team, a knowledgeable team, a knowledgeable team that is ready to take any task. Nothing, there's nothing that can surpass us. So I just wanted to give us that confidence and I'm very happy at where we are right now. My my sister, my sister Vavine is quite consumed. He says, Brother Bob, imagine a village creates an executive team and runs the vi and, and run the village's affairs. The rise yes. of the third world nations is inevitable. Very, very, exactly. very important. Thank exactly. you. And he has Thank he you. has the a team, a, a knowledgeable technical team, and a very, very extremely knowledgeable executive team working with him. Woo. We are we are fine. So uh, I, I'm, I'm just happy when, you, because it seems like uh, compliance, security, and all of, and I don't know, Vincent's, is, uh, Vincent's thing is like, you, it's a kind of a web. So you started from there. I'll just push it over to Brother Oliver and hear what he has to say. Yes. So that Vincent uh, should chime in and let's see how we make it a whole. Yes. Thank you very much, Brother Bob. You just opened my mind with a lot of things. But when you talk about compliance, compliance is also part of security. So, you know, um, when you when you look into the, the the security world of any application on the, any system to protect that system and to also look at that um, um is going to be a life support when it comes to the security you know we are secure from our data center or from the firewalls coming into the data that's coming from the from 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 the firewalls into our internal into our internal um, um, system we are well secured on that level no company no company that wants to come that, that will look at our sock there's a document a compliance document that I, I, my brother bob knows about that a compliance document called sock two document in application in, in systems that the compliance also without the compliance also with is that they're all public from um, um the, the other ones i don't like to call their names don't advertise them they, they all have it it's, it's public document when i also saw when bob talked about come the, the the pci dss also if you go and look at also what our <laughs> what um, ash put on um this 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 application that we are also we that we are also accredited and comply with icon i was like so you see that in all level on passive is complex has complies with everything and above above average so nobody should doubt nobody should doubt us when it comes to our security I want also I also want to take this to the next level out of out of companies that is a life support to companies just our products to a normal human to our normal lives the value that on pass brings to us the value look at all mail all mail you don't have bug you, you don't have spams folders <laughs> you understand there's no spams folder that is already secured so you see the value that 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 a free value that it brings to us look at us look at also again um, um how, how do you call it that is in uh colleagues always like to put his music that that, that i listen all the time uh, podcast, uh, podcast podcast free and it's also secured free that, that's why colleagues can mess with it for nine for three, <laughs> four hours around the clock you know <laughs> look at all team yes ash told us that and i know i'm a uh, uh, pro is um, um, uh, pro is coming all team mm -hmm. is also free Look at the features that are there. You understand? So these are the value that that on passive is bringing. Not only not only in the in in, in 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 the industrial world, you know, to 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 make to survive companies, but to us human to us the layman that there on the street that you can use O Trim to make money. You can use podcast that is a costly product. I think some of them go for about twelve dollars for podcast. You no, know, the cheapest one. You know, but 
Look at look look at what look at what on passive delivers to the world. So from a layman to the company, that value that it brings for what nothing, nothing. So we should be proud. We should be proud to say that on passive is not only a life support to companies, but to us, a layman. Some people have Gmail out there. It's not secure. But you have O mail. You are secure. You you will never see anything like spam mail. You have a you, you have a lock that you can log your email. If you have a secretary, they will have no access to your internal emails, priority mail. It comes to you directly. You use your your password to un, to you know to unlock it and read your mail. So these are the value. These are the value not only in companies but to us, you know. So and we are secured. We are secured in all levels. We comply in all levels. Anywhere you want to go. Tell me which company, which CEO. CEOs will be referring other CEOs to come to us. Yes, a lot of CEOs will be referring on passive to their colleagues. That hey, there's, there's this new. Look at what happened in, in, in Dubai. Our stand that was in Dubai. I also saw what is going on in Egypt. <laughs> you know, watch me. It's like our CEO said the other day that it's going to explode. On passive will explode. On passive will explode because the values that is bringing the like mm -hmm. brother Michael also talk about um, the, the humanitarian part that that right. is the vision of on passive. That is the vision. So if you want to look at on passive in all aspects, in all domains, we are leading and we will lead and lead and we, and we are going to take the internet. We're always at the top. Thank you, uh, Thank uh, you. Oliver. Before I hand over to uh, to my brother Vincent's Uncle Bob, this is a special one from your sister, gifted to you. That's it on the screen. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> brother Vincent, please just them. No, yeah, we can move on, please. <laughs> I give you the mic. Just, just five minutes and let's. Okay. Thank you, thank you, sister Comfort. Yeah, thank you, my brother, as well. This uh, security thing. So, beginning of the week, we have uh, our security chief, all the security chief in G4 security system in the UK. They said, uh, I sent even the, the message yeah, to on passive uh, uh, groups that AI will be the biggest impact on physical security operation in the UK for the next five years. And then Artificial intelligence will be the they say will be the biggest impact on physical security operation in the UK for the next five years. So this is what the UK government security chief they were predicting. But right now, just to let people know that this thing we have that in on passive. What some how this sound? Because we have it. What they are predicting in the UK for the next five years on passive have that already. So it's going to impact our life. <laughs> For the next five years, we like or not, that's the biggest impact in the world right now. So that's security on passive habit. So on passive, we have even projected the future for the next five years. We have it right now. So this is what company are preparing for the next five years. On passive, we have it right now. So that's tell us that on passive, we don't play with the security. We are ahead of the security measure in the UK. Even everywhere in the world, we are ahead already. So for the security. We are, we are, that my brother Oliver said, we are fine. For security, we have nothing to worry about that. We have nothing to worry. Because artificial intelligence, security already, we, we are above all the security measure for the rest of the world. We are on the top. And then we are ahead of, uh, because when we're talking all over all the product, like Oliver said, all our product, brother Oliver, Bob, and we all said, we have all these product, they are embedded by intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence system, AI. So AI add plus own the, the product have their own security plus AI security. So I know we're going to help a lot of company in that area as well, because a lot of company, they will come to on passive to help them, to support them for their business in parting the world, because this is the artificial intelligence. This is something that on passive know very well how to do it. So they will come to us and then they will need the help because we are more specialized in this area. So there's nothing to worry about that. They will come to, are they like or not, they will come to on passive to get a better security of our artificial intelligence system. So Sister Kompa, I'll leave it there. All right. 
So let's go back to our dear brother, Brother mm. Mike. This is getting more and more interesting, bro. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Burden. Uh, and Mr. Comfort for. I mean, wow, we're we, we, we on fire. I, I can sit down here properly because uh, something is moving within me. Uh, talking of security, that our, our burden and uh, it's true. And top of it all, as you keep saying, our security is in God. That is the ultimate. That that seals everything. So that means, I keep saying, you can try on passive in any direction. Be it IT-wise, spiritual-wise, every aspect, we are secured. Now, talk of security. We can see that uh, most most communities that are facing conflict on issue all boils down to uh, money, because down it, down to the families, you can see the parents are struggling and going. Sometimes they don't even have time for their kids. They, you want it, but it's like you have to go to work. You come, your mommy is going to work, daddy is going to work. The kids are left alone, all kind of stuff. Like society breaks, and it's like uh, family bonds it, it even <laughs> breaks down. But on passive is going to give us the time that parents don't have to leave their kids not at their own wish but because of job they have time to like now nature the family the, the, the nuclear family and once once the nuclear family is okay daddy and mommy have time they are tending to their kids properly they seem to their welfare making sure kids are okay now this will affect our communities communities will affect cities Cities will affect affect uh, 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 countries, and countries will affect continents. Continent will affect globe. So this will be a global security as far as life is concerned. So something is boiling up, and it's going to build up. Imagine I keep saying, no, uh, even we, we are like so happy. Imagine years to come. It, it's not just about us, but years to come, where every family, it's okay. Daddy and mommy are okay. Kids are like doing exactly what they are, they wish to do. Society will be so calm. No, no, no issue of conflict or argument. And you can see how secured our environment, our societies, our countries, and our global in general will be like. And humanity will be at peace. Thank you very much. This is what I would add to it. Wow, powerful as usual, bro. That was a cool one. Oh my god, I'm just burning. So, guys, we started as if we ignored what has been going on the past three to three days. No, there's no way you can do that because you never ignore anything on passive. So, we just want to take this quick last round and say why we did not discuss yesterday's progress, the few days ago, and stuff and stuff, and how we are going to get it done tomorrow. So it's a last round of closing remark. Just say a quick thing, and then we see where we end. And let's start from my brother Vincent, and let's see how it goes. Okay, life yesterday. Uh, I will see you come again. So we are always happy. I'm always. I can see for even two of hours, and then listen to him because uh, it's a uh, you. You know when we are with him, you will never tired to listen to good thing. And then yesterday was a lot of good things. So, like uh, the merchants come back to life, everything is working perfect. And there are a lot of people I know, yeah. but I did mind the first round, the first, second, and third. I've signed up everything. But All right. I was I helping. Think, I think I think I think that's you've overstayed your work. Welcome on yesterday's topic. <laughs> uh, yesterday's topic. It was you about the merchants. That's enough. That's yeah. just enough. I won't get you to stay now because okay. we have time for so that. We are happy. We are fire up for the merchant. Everything is back to life. It's good. We are happy. Thank yes. you, Sister. I appreciate that, bro. Thank you, <laughs> bro. Oliver, you have uh, 32.7 seconds. Oh, yeah. Yesterday was uh, the reset and the restart. And it has put us all on that rolling fire up, you know, and it's unlimited. Anything on passive is unlimited. It started yesterday and we are on fire, unlimited. Good night. Thank you. That's enough. We, let's keep it. Let's see how, how many people will get pregnant by not discussing this today. But I'm up. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Um, I was just so so happy to see our CEO yesterday, very calm, calculated, collected. And uh, I was also very excited to go into that system and see that payment processor up and able to pay. To me, that's it. 
we'll talk more about it tomorrow. Thank you. That's all I wanted to hear. I don't want to lay the burden of my brother Vincent. So, uh, uh, my, uh, brother Mike, go. Colin will take the, the burden. Okay. Of his what, what I would say is that, as as uh, 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 um, Persevius, let's uh, understand and follow our CEO, and we, we will know what he's trying to do. Thank you. That's that's deep. Thank you. So, what about you? <laughs> What else can I say? My brothers, you have said it all. We are just on fire and we are fine. Come yes. tomorrow for the big deal. Heroes tomorrow. Yes. So, guys, tomorrow we have um, Robin Noble, we have Jeffrey Morlock to just come and be on the updates, everything that has been happening this week. So, we're going to have a, a deep dive into what has been happening the past couple of days till yesterday night. And if I thought anything new happened tonight, it will be added to what they will be saying tomorrow. Then we have, of course, our Andy Berg, the figures guy, to chip in. We have Peter Rogers to chip in. We have these, uh, our brothers here to chip in. It's going to be a crazy day. And of course, John Borilla will be there <laughs> doing his, his, his usual thing. Yeah. The only thing that he alone can do. <laughs> so, guys, if you miss out on tomorrow's webinar, oh my God, I don't know where you would be, what you would be doing. Come on, let's discuss this because after the presentation from our two main guests, Robin and Jeffrey, our team, our main daily team will comment really briefly on that and then we'll leave room for Q&A because we know that as everybody's trying to pay, people want to, people are struggling with one or two things, bring them in tomorrow, but then be on time, be on time so that we don't go repeating stuff we go back and forth just on one thing if we are all on time we do we discuss a lot we learn a lot and we help a lot so guys this has been another beautiful saturday let's do it to share this people just need to know what they've got and so that they, they're well equipped to face the world with the beauty of our blessings thank you guys see you again really soon love you all guys thank you. Thank you.